let's go to metalink.oracle.com okay once we are <coughs> logged into metalink.oracle.com i can search on correct j developer for e business so when i search for correct j developer for e business it should send me it should give me a link of articles and from those links let's say this one right customer recommended so if i click on that link i can scroll down and i can see that i can download a j developer patch for any e business suite 11i or release 12 version that has been uh, delivered by oracle so far i'm interested in release 12 1.1 so i'm going to download this patch 8431482 after i've downloaded my patch i'll get the zip file here so what i want to do is to cut this or to copy the zip file and then i'll create a directory okay i've got c dev in that I'll create a directory called OAF and within this I'll create a directory called R1211 and within that I'm going to paste this zip file okay now once we have got zip file I can right click and say extract here this is going to take a minute or so so we will come back once the zip file has been exploded this is going to create three directories jdev bin, jdev doc and jdev home right okay so <coughs> it's almost done and this has created three directories and i'll go to jdev home jdev i go into this directory copy the name of this whole directory okay copy the full path of the directory then i go to my computer right click on properties advanced system settings environment variables click on new and I'll create an environment variable jdev user home with this directory. Okay. I click on OK, click on OK again, click on OK again. I can test by doing set jdev underscore user underscore home. Right. Once I've got this steps done, I now have got jdeveloper setup to be run. Now, the first thing I have to do is to create a shortcut for this jdeveloper. So in my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder for OEF. I go into that and I'll create a new shortcut. Sorry, a new shortcut. New shortcut. And I'll select C dev OEF R121 JDF home JDF bin. Sorry. So R121 JDF bin JDF bin jw.exe okay so i have created a shortcut for jdev bin jdev bin jw.exe and i'll give it my name called i'll give it a name called jdev r1211 okay now i can double click on this and start my jdeveloper do I want to migrate? No, I don't want to migrate. So once my JDeveloper has been has has started, I can then click on OK, click on Close. I can go to File, Open, and I need to open something called as Workspace. My Workspace is going to be in my JDev Home directory. So I go to JDev Home, JDev, My Projects, and in here I will select JWS, and I I can open toolbox.jws file. I'll click on yes. Okay. Once I've got this file opened, it will open the projects which come shipped with the JDeveloper for tutorial and practice purposes. Click on OK again. Click on OK again. Click OK again. We haven't defined a connection as yet. Not a problem. So here I've got a tutorial project, right? So what I need to do is I need to do two things. I want to run a page which is which belongs to the tutorial project itself. Before I can do that, I need to set some properties. I double click on the tutorial project or I can right click and go to properties. Okay, I can right click and go to project properties. Expand the Oracle applications tab runtime connections 
I need to first thing I need to do is to enter a DVC file. Now to get the DVC file, I'll go to Putty. Okay, and I'll go to dollar FND underscore secure. Here I can see my DBC file. What I need to do now is to copy the file from here via FileZilla. You can use any FTP tool as you want. So I log into my server on FileZilla. I go to the Unix directory, which is this, and on my left hand side, I've got my JDAV user home directory slash dbc files slash secure so I can right click and download the file okay once the file has been downloaded I click on browse I go to JDAV home which is here in here there's a directory called dbc files I go to secure and I select my dbc file I'll select a username and a password. Uh, this user has got a sysadmin resp responsibility, system administrator responsibility. The application short name is sysadmin, and the responsibility is this system administrator. This is the responsibility key. Okay, I've selected this. I can just right click and rebuild my project. So what I've done so far is I've opened the JDeveloper, I've got my JDev user home set up already and uh, I'm rebuilding one of the existing projects that is delivered by Oracle after configuring it against my Ebitna Suite instance. I've given the DBC file name, right? Now, next thing for me to do is to go to application sources, Oracle apps, FND toolbox, tutorials, web UI. And I can run something called as home page. Okay, so I'm going to right click and run the home page. Click on yes, that's fine. Click on yes again, that's fine as well. It's okay, I haven't yet defined the database connection because. I'm not building the view objects or entity objects so far so I just click on OK what I'm trying to say here is that in order for you to run a page you do not need to define a database connection in JDeveloper so hopefully that should run my page and if this runs then then you are ready for OI framework development on a release 12 instance let's give it a few seconds it should be there the first time when you run the page for the first time it takes a few seconds and after that the information gets cached and it's much faster so there you go you should have a page any moment so that's really it for this tutorial you can apply similar logic on your specific version of release 12 as well uh, which could be released with 6 for example, then you have to go to Metalink and download the respective patch. Thank you very much.